Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 15th, 2020. So yesterday we had an impressive, a really impressive showing by the bulls holding on to key levels of support in the chart, as well as some key moving averages. But today we face a big day of data. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, kind of grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, pretty darn um, interesting um, happenings going on here in the futures markets. Futures, when I got up out of bed this morning, about 4.30 um, central time this morning, looked at the futures, the futures were bullish. They were moving higher. Now, not so much. Dow futures are actually showing a substantial decline around 200 points. Lots of volatility right now this morning. So what's creating that volatility? Well, obviously, it has a lot to do with what's going on in the economic calendar this morning and a big data drop that's about on the way. But before we get there, let's take a look at the technicals, see what the technicals have to show us, and see if we can glean any information from there. So first off, what we want to take a look at is just absolutely how impressive it was that we held so strongly yesterday. We started out the day with a gap down and moving sharply lower, dropping um, 400 and some points here in the Dow. We tested this price level of support and then the bulls stepped back up and said, nope, no further we want to hold here. That turned out to be a very impressive hold of the 50-day moving average, essentially putting in a bullish engulfing candle here on the Dow, holding that 50-day. Now, right now, unfortunately, as you can see, Dow futures are looking to give back a big portion of that this morning on a gap down. So if you kind of over rushed in on this and didn't close those trades this morning, you might have a little bit of a punishment here this morning. Now, anything is possible. We're waiting on a huge bunch of data that could change this um, it could turn this thing inside out by the time the market actually opens. So pretty interesting morning here. A lot of volatility. It could go anywhere. Let's keep an eye um, an eye on those features because it is setting up for a wild market open. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, another impressive hold where we pushed all the way down. We didn't quite make it to that 50-day moving average. We certainly put in quite an effort as we we push down there and then those bulls rush back in not a bullish engulfing candle but certainly a nice piercing candle bullish piercing candle as we push back up let's kind of keep in mind that we held that 50 but we are still below here this 500 day moving average in the chart and this area has just been challenging here for the market facing this data i think anything is possible so watch that pretty closely this morning um, as we come out to report looks like we're going to open giving back a good portion of that rally yesterday not not close to all of it but giving back a good portion and that's likely to jump around a lot more before the open let's take a look at the cues Q's turnaround was equally impressive, but we still have such a massive cushion here in, of support underneath this um, in the NASDAQ. There was not a whole lot of worry here overall. Certainly the pullback was substantial, but um, really a nice impressive rally holding on to this key level. Uh, price support right through here. So let's keep a close eye on that. As the morning goes on, anything could happen here today. And then IWM um, also, uh, after losing its 50-day moving average early on in the morning, staged an impressive rally. Now, this one isn't nearly as impressive as the other indexes. As you can see, we didn't even come close to a piercing candle here on that move um, but 
you know, it is nice that we held on to it. Keep in mind, we are gapping down this morning, it looks like. And if there's a, f a first chance of a stock failing its 50, I think it's going to be IWM. So keep a close eye on that. Let's watch watch that as we, you know, try to absorb and grapple with all of this data that we face this morning. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Boy, our VIX has really been showing us all the emotion that we're dealing with here in the market, just kind of whipping all over the place. And as you can see, yesterday we pushed back. So we broke through this price resistance of that chart. And now we were pulling back quickly to try and test this level of support and the downtrend as support. Will this hold? Well, currently, with the future showing a pullback pretty subs or a gap down pretty substantial this morning, that might give us a little bit of concern that we might hold some support in here. If those numbers do come in bad, if we do get that negative reaction, it's kind of the thing that I've been talking about. There's really no concern here in the VIX just cracking through its downtrend. It's when we prove that that downtrend holds a support and fear continues to creep back in that's where we can really see some nasty selling so let's keep an eye on that this morning hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully the numbers come in better than expected and the market calms itself down and we see that fear continuing to pull back but boy anything anything could happen this morning as we wait for those numbers let's take a look at t2122 now t2122 is that four week new high new low ratio here's something really interesting that occurred yesterday in t2122 we had that impressive rally um, pushing markets back up but let's kind of take note here what happened in t2122 we barely budged um, I don't know exactly um, what the deal is here, but we barely budged. We, we are still down here in the bullish reversal zone, even with such an impressive rally. Now, what that tells me is that the breadth of the rally wasn't very strong, that we had some big key sector stocks uh, moving up to uh, bounce higher but the overall market didn't show um, a, a big rally response. So that could be double-edged sword. That could should be showing us a little bit of potential danger that it's a false sense of, of rally or it could just show that we also we still have plenty of opportunity for an upside move if these numbers don't um, scare the heck out of the market this morning. So keep a close eye on price action. That's the only thing we can do today is really focus in on that price action and respond to what we see. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And this is where all of this angst is coming from this morning. And I've been talking about it pretty much all week to uh, just watch and be prepared for what could occur this morning we're looking at uh, first thing uh, a big retail sales number um, they are now suggesting that the retail sales number could be um, a, a historic drop in that retail sales and probably not a surprise since most retail stores are closed and if they didn't have the ability to sell um, lots and lots of products online um, probably showing some bad numbers there we're also going to have empire state manufacturing and industrial production coming shortly after that that also is expected to show a pretty ugly decline um, overall um, followed quickly by business inventories consumer sentiment and the jobs openings report none of these are expected to be all that special uh, give us a whole lot of um, great bullish upside. So pretty interesting situation as we set up for today. Um, you know what, guys, just hold just a second. My mouse all of a sudden just died. Um, I didn't recognize the battery was going bad. Give me just one second. I'll change my battery and we'll continue.
Okay, so I'm back here. Um, let's take a look at um, what we have on our earnings calendar today to be thinking about. It's been kind of, um, um, well, kind of a soft week. Um, markets haven't been responding all that much to uh, future or to earnings reports just simply because we've been kind of focusing a little bit more on economic data. But today we have about 170 companies reporting earnings. Um, the majority of those are not going to be notable. They're really, really, uh, they're small caps and things like that. Nothing that's really going to move us around. But I did pull out a few stocks that could be showing us some um, could be showing some notability this morning. So let's take a look at those um, right now. Uh, DKNG is one of the stocks that um, is reporting this morning. Right now, it's showing a little bit of a gap down um, on that industrial. Just pushing back, we've had a nice, really upside trend here and a little bit of gap down. Probably doesn't even hurt the technicals of this chart at all. So maybe there was a miss there this morning. Um, let's keep an eye on that stock. Uh, JD, JD has also had quite a nice run and move up this online seller. And you can see this morning, it looks like they have benefited substantially from um, coronavirus and online sales gapping up sharply here this morning. So keep an eye on that stock. Um, MFG, MFG will be reporting today. Um, right now, um, one of the things that you can see with TC2000 is it gives you an idea where the market's going to open. Well, right now the bid ask spread on this is this wide. Um, <laughs> ridiculously wide. So we're just waiting on an earnings report there. And you can see market makers are protecting themselves on that stock. Um, PBF. PBF will be reporting today. Again, this this is some of the most notable. And as you can see, not really all that impressive companies. We're down here around a $9 um, stock. And it looks like it is trying to, at least right now, indicating an open about where it closed. VFC is the last one I have on the list uh, for this morning. Uh, had a nice rally back up yesterday, and right now bid ask spread is indicating um, a gap down this morning. I don't know if this is reported yet. Bid ask spread is still pretty wide, but giving up some of that uh, gain here this morning, and that could just be a function of futures pointing um, significantly lower here. So with that, everyone, um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today and a few stocks that I've added to my watch list yesterday. And um, if you um, could do me a favor here first, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, if you want to continue to support the channel, and I truly, truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that, um, clicking that thumbs up button and leaving a brief comment helps a tremendous amount. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. It's a lot to ask on a daily video like this, but I certainly appreciate the show of support for the effort. So thank you all very, very much. So with that, let's take a look at some of these stocks that may be setting up. Um, there are quite a few stocks out there showing really, really good patterns and something we should pay attention to. Now, this was actually uh, posted to me by one of the members of Right Way Options, and um, I think this is a very nice looking chart um, here in eBay. eBay's been moving up in a trend, and you can see consolidating nicely yesterday, or well, this week, consolidating nicely up here um, as we try to break through and hold this level of resistance in the chart. Next resistance level above, as you can see, is gonna be right up in here, those uh, highs of the chart. 
and we're setting here with a very nice pattern right now now it's entirely possible with this gap down this morning we could see this pull back and continue to rest in this sideways move so watch this we could continue to cycle over here toward the trend and we want to be watching this for that opportunity of ebay popping on out so keep ebay on your list it might be um, something to focus on etsy is another one of those charts that etsy um, has really had a surge um, g gaining benefit from the coronavirus and you can see Etsy moved up substantially here after its earnings report and now starting to rest and consolidate over toward its trend if it finds some support in this trend right in here and we get those that bullish move watch for that opportunity that this could pop up and move right on up that trend so keep that one on your list don't anticipate it because there is the possibility in these stocks that have moved up so sharply that we end up just putting in a longer consolidation we may give up the trend um, initially but just put in a longer consolidation as we kind of rest so wait for that trade don't anticipate that trade one of the sectors that's been pretty darn impressive is the gaming sector um, they've been holding up quite well um, overall you see I've placed an alert here on EA and um, we did push back up yesterday leaving a bit of a hammer pattern but a hammer pattern to me requires a follow-through and really a hammer pattern inside of a consolidation is not uh, is not really a signal for me I need to see some follow-through to that this morning we're looking at a little gap down but what's nice about this chart is that we are consolidating this move after this major breakout so EA continuing to move sideways I think it's still worthy of watching and you can see that in um, other uh, gaming companies TTWO very very nice pattern here overall if I draw a trend line up this move you can see we've crossed through a pretty substantial level of resistance this was actually a price alert right here for me and now we're getting this nice little comfortable pullback toward the trend if that holds that to support watch for that next potential move higher of course we always want to respect the resistance here in the chart and that possibility that that all-time high may be a little bit difficult to cross back through considering the condition of the overall market but certainly something to keep an eye on in that chart now if you're looking for something to as a possible short take a look at Altria here Altria we placed in here kind of a double top high uh, breaking down through price support levels and now we're just consolidating we really haven't had enough energy to even really bounce back higher so if this were to fail and you can see I have a price alert right here if this were that were to fail down through this area we could easily seek out these lows make for a nice short trade um, kind of the same as um, what Philip Morris has already produced is that failure right here there's that double top there's that move cracking through that support and that short trade actually setting up there so there is the alert on that trade as that move lower other places you could look there was a pretty nice rally yesterday in uh, berry gold as you can see holding price support right in here a little bit of a higher low being held here and gold maybe you know gold gold uh, itself um, gold stocks maybe a place to look if the market does start getting shaky so keep an eye on GOLD nice impressive move up yesterday um, in that chart we also saw some nice moves um, in recovery yesterday from the big four tech so Microsoft a big move up holding this price support in here I think any follow through to the upside or a hold right in this area could set up that opportunity for that next leg higher here on Microsoft but let's keep in mind that we are gapping down this morning we're giving up a good portion of that move it may not be able to hold here that may just have been that false false little pop as we try to hold support if we see those futures continuing to slide lower so keep an eye on that that could also set up 
uh, both long or short. SQ made an impressive move yesterday as pay systems seem to be looking really, really well. Um, so SQ looking really strong here. Um, this entire line I placed as an alert and we broke back above that resistance level here um, yesterday. What's going to be important is to see that we can actually hold that. If we gap down a little bit today, if the market pulls us back down, that would be okay if we stay in this range and we would want to wait for that uh, potential move back out of here next week. And once again, we have to respect these resistance highs in the chart. Keep in mind that the stock could uh, move right up in here to these levels and call it quits. But um, very impressive move yesterday. Um, AXP was also an extremely impressive move yesterday, rallying up 7%. Take a look at some of the financials, guys. We had a big day yesterday in the financials. Now, overall in this chart, AXP, we are still downtrending. We still are beneath resistance levels. And we did give up this support in this pullback. But that is a pretty impressive uh, restoration coming back up. So let's watch this area in here, see if we can maybe break that downtrend or we may have to languish around in here in this little wedge pattern for a while before we can pop back up once again this is one of those charts that could go either direction we could pop right into that resistance reverse and head on lower so let's keep an eye on that financial sector um, xlf is one that i'm paying close attention to and actually hold and i'm holding this as a long-term position i did have put options on this uh, on this sell-off made some nice profits I took those off yesterday on those put options and I will be adding back to this long trade if we can hold in here. So keep an eye on uh, those financials. They really were a big part of the rally yesterday. Let's see if they can push back up and actually break that little downtrend and hold. That's going to be key here today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And I also want to um, um, wish you just a wonderful weekend ahead. Um, obviously, it's <laughs> weekends are not as fun as they used to be where we're not going out and doing a whole lot of things. We're not traveling around much. But hopefully you have a great, um, great weekend uh, planned with family and friends that are close by and in your circle that you can hang out with. So everyone, take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. I wish you all the best.